Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Hadrian's Wall. This was recorded live a couple of weeks ago. I thought that to go along with the other playthrough that I've recorded, I would try editing this and see how that goes. And so you can see either playthrough, I try and go different ways in each of them. You can see those links in the description. There's a Klingon subtitle channel if you'd like to be notified of any mistakes I might have made. There's a Patreon if you'd like to support the channel linked in the description as well. But I will stop with this freeze frame and get to the playthrough now. So we are going to be trying to bolster the defences of Hadrian's Wall. We're going to be trying to recruit all sorts of people, build all sorts of buildings. You know, basically, we're going to flip over cards, get meeples relating to those cards, and spend those meeples to cross things off on sheets. And it's going to be great, because lots of those crosses are going to lead to other crosses. Uh, it's always very satisfying. It's like a great big Ganshan Clever. So I think there are difficulty levels on this. I've only played easy so far. The only thing that changes is, so at the end of each round, there are six rounds in the game, the Picts are going to attack. And depending on how well we have recruited cohorts, we can defend against them. Uh, there is There are more cards that come in in the higher difficulties. So you're going to get punished more if you haven't got those defenses sorted out. Let's, let's try playing on medium, hey? Let's see how that goes. The artist is Sam Phillips. Yes, art and graphic design by Sam Phillips, and then developed by Shem Phillips. I'll show you all of these other things. Everything fine, good. Thank you, James. You can see the backs of a couple of the decks of cards, but I really like the backs of all of these. They are very nice. And so, this is a, you can play it up to, what was that, six players? I'm playing a solo game of it, which is, there is a little bit of interaction in it. You aren't missing a lot of the rules by there not being other players. You can do like, you can, you can use things on other people's cards and maybe they get a resource off you. So there is that element. There are some extra options opened up in solo, some extra cards you can see, so there's some things you can choose from. But yeah, a, a lot of uh, stuff will be kind of uh, multiplayer solitaire. I imagine I have only played it solitaire, solitaire so far, but we'll see how that goes. Yes, there are going to be six rounds. We're going to get some meeples. We are going to cross some things off. Then the picks are going to attack. We have ways of defending against them, ways of bribing people to forget about us not defending them because you will get punished if you don't do that. Basically a million things. You see, like, I don't know if you can probably see these sheets. I have got zoom-ins, if uh, it makes it a little bit uh, clearer. But is it just clear enough like that? Can you see the writing and stuff? I suppose it depends on what you're watching it on. We'll see how all of that goes. So yeah, there's, there's loads and loads of stuff to cross off here, and we'll, we'll get into it as we go along, shall we? So we need a fake card. These are the fake cards. They'll be used for various things throughout the game, but at the start of the round, we see a fake card and all we need to concern ourselves with is the bottom part of this card like all of this stuff will matter later uh, but these determine the the workers we're going to get the meeples and the resources that we're going to get so the black ones are soldiers the turquoise ones are builders purple are servants and um yellow or what yellow are they're civilians and then we also get two bricks, two resources. So yes, we've done that. And then we get the top two cards from our player deck and zoom in a little bit on these cards. So we are going to decide basically to tuck one in at the top of the player board and have some end game scoring criteria. The other one is going to go out and it's going to determine some extra things that we can get. So I could get an extra... I've forgotten already. That's a servant, isn't it? An extra servant and resource, or an extra soldier. And soldiers are hard to come by. Now, I've got two on the card there, but that does mean I've got less of a lot of other stuff. And could determine what other people could do. So you've got a player here and arrows either side. So this could help other players trade in the multiplayer game. No concern for me in the solo game. If I do some scouting, it determines a shape that I could draw in scouting. Try and get to it all, don't worry, there's a, there's a lot going on in this. Uh, so what would I like to go for? If I go for the Forager, 
It would help me to get some resource production, and having loads of resources would be nice, wouldn't it? And completed cohorts can reward me with points as well. Uh, so the cohorts are up here, the things are gonna, that are going to help us defend against the Picts. I think, let, let's go for some, let's, let's get that soldier and go for some resource production. So, Forager gets slid underneath there. And so if I, this is resource production here. I start with one built in, nice of them. Uh, but if I get three resources, that's worth a point. If I get six resource production, it's worth two points. All of them is worth three points. Not very many points, but there's a lot of ways that we can get points in this. This one comes over here. And so I don't need to concern myself with the points on it anymore. I get myself a soldier. So I've got three of them now. And then uh, you get additional things based on your production. So you can get extra meeples. You can get extra symbols here that basically move you along these tracks. And every step on any of these four tracks is a point. And getting to 15 on any of these tracks lets you build some special buildings that can give you more points in the other tracks. We've had our extra stuff, selected the player cards, now it's time to spend all of this stuff on these cards. And there are a ton of options on here. I'll just... We'll, we'll go in depth on stuff as we go along, but just kind of skimming over some of the things. We can go for mining and foresting, only the, um, the servants can go there. They will give us resources, but also resource production. So that's maybe a track I want to focus on and to try and get some more of them helping me out. The wall guard, I need soldiers to go along here. Or I can use swords. I can get swords from putting builders in the training grounds once per year. Uh, they will give me cohorts, which I can cross off on here, and they're going to help me defend against the Picts at the end of every round. And they also give me Discipline, which is one of the tracks at the bottom, will give you points. Every now and then will give you rewards too. Increasingly so as you go up the same track. Uh, the Sippy, the Wall and the Port. Kippy? I don't know. You should look up pronunciations before you start a video maybe. Uh, but uh, yes, they are all kind of linked. So the Fort is the main thing here. The Fort you can progress along by... and it's all left to right. Uh, you can use builders or soldiers. And you see these chains that link up these spaces. As soon as you have crossed off this space in the fort, you can now do either of these spaces above. So you have to have gotten to that space on the fort first. There are also tags along the fort that give us levels. As soon as we've reached these levels, we can build certain buildings. So as soon as we've gotten that first space, we've done level one, we can build this medium granary, which is what we need to be allowed to build into this middle portion of the map here. Yes, anything in the center column, you need to have built the medium granary. So to build anything of these buildings, you have to meet that requirement. And then you need a servant, a builder, and a resource. Then you can cross it off. Then you're allowed to build in the middle. There's a large granary. You have to have gotten to five there first and then you need to pay to get there, but you also get one of the points in one of the tracks as well if you do that. So they're buildings that we can build if we've gotten to certain points to give us that income at the start. The forum is a way that we're allowed to kind of swap. It's, it's a bit costly. You have to spend two of any workers to get one of another worker, but not soldiers. They're hard to get, and you can only use the forum once per year. There's six years in the game, and you've only got four uses of it, so you gotta make the most of it. These landmark buildings can only be built if we get to stage 15 of one of the big tracks at the bottom there, so don't have to worry about those for now. You can see the points at the bottom here. Point for every step you've moved along any of these tracks. We will get points off our path cards, so that's what I've chosen there, that forager that gives me some points for resource production. You lose points for disdain, kind of increasingly so as you get loads of disdain. You get disdain for not defending against the picks, picks attacks. And uh, yeah, that's your score. So then the right hand sheet has got kind of these areas that, yeah, it's, it's got a lot of stuff on it, but you can look at them as all of these, these people that work in the area. So the traders, performers, priests, and then the apparitores and uh, patricians, they can all be gained with civilians. So the yellow meeples, 
Progressing along their tracks will give you different rewards, different kinds of people moving along those uh, reward tracks on the left sheet, getting you resources, all sorts of stuff like that. But also at the bottom, you can see some of the ribbons are coloured. That basically means once you've gotten to this stage, you have unlocked something on this side or unlocked the potential to do something over on this side. You've still probably got to build it. But uh, the just briefly as to how they work, the traders will eventually let you build the precinct. You can spend some workers here to move along the tracks and get some production. Maybe I want to do that. You can also build the market. And if you've gotten to certain levels of the traders, you have to get to certain levels to do the precincts as well. Once you've gotten to certain levels of the traders, you can trade in the market. So I do have a couple of cards I'll be allowed to see from a, a dummy player. So some more shapes I'm allowed to build. But uh, also I can take a random card from the path deck. We don't need this one anymore. I can look at a random one and you see on the, the one that we've used for the workers here, it's got this value on it. So if I was to do a trade action, I would either trade with a card I can see has got a, a nice uh, juicy trade bonus, or I can just draw a random one. You write that number in, you want to collect loads of different numbers in the market. The performers have got the theater, just ways of getting loads of different symbols including you know that moves you up the trader track gets you more of those uh, you can only do this once a year and you have to be at certain levels in the performers to do that so that, again there's only six years but there's nine spaces on here uh, six spaces on here so you can do a performance every single year but you've got to race along those tracks and have the resources to be able to do it you can train gladiators and eventually put them to fight you have to draw again random uh, fake cards to see if your gladiator wins the battle, you will start getting uh, renown, move along those tracks, and eventually resources as your gladiators level up and win fights. But if you draw a number that's like bigger than their level, they're gonna die. And uh, early on, they will reward you with uh, piety for dying, but later on won't, because hopefully they'll have gotten you rewards elsewhere. You can have one battle per gladiator per year. For the priests, you can do gardens, a way of getting a load of these symbols. You know, you can get uh, theatre and trader points and uh, more priests, as well as moving along the piety tracks. And this would give you basically one of everything doing the large gardens, but you've got to have gotten to four and seven on the priests to unlock those. They also do the temples, which are places to basically put any kind of worker that you like, and you will unlock piety, but every now and then, give you these chances to ignore picked cards so a way of avoiding some of the attacks it's not that you have to do cohorts and defend against them there you can get these uh, kind of bribes and ignore some of the cards sometimes the apparatoris uh, you can build baths and if you build the baths it's a way of twice per year you can bribe these officials and cross out disdain that you've earned from not defending against the picked well enough. You can bribe the officials here with resources uh, up to twice per year and cross that off. So again, it's not that you have to defend against these attacks. You just have to maybe you know, massage public opinion after you've uh, done terribly at it. And uh, the courthouse, you can do rulings in here and you will basically get more get more servants you know, so the levels here don't cost you anything but I can get you one servant over here if you pay a build you can get two servants and over here if you pay a servant you can get a builder so ways to exchange uh, your workers as well and finally in the patricians you can unlock three different diplomats when you unlock them you choose a direction the picks are attacking from has to be different each time and you earn yourself a renown that's one of the tracks we move along to earn points and you get two bribes, so you can ignore up to two cards from that particular direction later on in the game. Uh, each one has to serve a different cohort. And finally, we have the scouts here, that uh, if you've reached the appropriate level and you spend a soldier, you can go scouting. And that's what, remember on my card over here, it's got this uh, tetrisy shape, and also on the two cards we will reveal for neutral players, they have tetrisy shapes that we can use. You basically scribble out that shape in the scouting area, and if you cover up things, you get those things, uh, servants and resources, and you will get renown for every row you complete in there as well. 
a lot. I know, but you know, you're not going to do all of that stuff. I would, I feel pretty confident that it's impossible to do all of that stuff. So yeah, you've got to you've got to pick and choose what you're going to be uh, focusing on in particular here. So can we see a good amount of stuff? What if I get rid of my deck for now and we'll have my meeples up there? We don't need to see the scoring on these cards. These are some neutral cards that I could use the trade value of or the shape of. That's basically what they're for. In a multiplayer game, the other players get the resources you are using if you use their card. Obviously in solo, it all just goes back to the supply. So what should we go for then? I want resource production for the forager. I've got a few soldiers right now, so we could start progressing along the wall guard very nicely. I've only got one servant though, so that's not gonna get me very much production over here. The bricks are gonna be useful for the wall or the sippy, and, uh, but I'm gonna need to progress along the fort first for that, to be able to do any of those spaces. If I go along the fort a lot, I could maybe build a building. My servant can go to the trading, training grounds and move me along the wall guard a bit more. Okay, I have got two civilians. So if we look at this sheet here, the first space on, say, priests and traders is servants. So if I want to get some servants, maybe I want to get some traders first, and I'm basically spending a yellow to get a purple back. And getting to level three in the traders will let me build this precinct that will give me more and more production. Now, you don't want to focus on that, but once you've got that as a starting point, you can then think, well, where do I need to put all of the resources? I think that would be quite a nice start. So over here, I'm going to spend one of my civilians to gain a trader. So I cross off. I'll watch this be the felt tip that doesn't work now. I cross off this space. And so I get a servant meeple. You can see that, can't you? Yeah. I think that looks all right. So I spent my civilian. I've gotten a servant for that. And so I could now spend two servants and up my resource production a little bit. I think I'll go for that. So I'm going to spend my two servants over there. I've now just covered up a resource. So I get another one of those. And a resource production. So I can fill in that next circle there. So I've got a lot of soldiers. I've only got one builder. I probably want to use that builder to build something in the fort. Because that will unlock at least two uses of my bricks, my stone. So I think I'll do that. And then, yeah, why not? I will spend a brick on the wall right there. Now, the, the wall and the sippy are related to the fort, but not each other. So you can just go straight along here if you want to and ignore the wall. You just have to have done this first, the chains that relate to that particular track. So I've done that one, which gets me another civilian. If we get to level two... I could build the small hotel and get an extra civilian every year, but I don't have either of these. It would be something to plan for for next turn. So my soldiers can go on the wall guard and start giving me some defenses. Yeah, I think I should spend at least one soldier to do that. So basically, I cross off this and I get a cohort. They don't reward me with anything right now, but at the end of the round, see over here for each round, uh, the colors are the difficulty. So if we say medium, we go by the yellow number. So I'm just going to draw one card at the end of the year. It's going to have, so this is the one we've seen, not the one that is coming up. It's going to have a direction in it. So the Picts are going to attack, but from which direction? If you have a, a cross in the cohort of that direction, you block it. If you've got enough, great, you're going to get a load of renown. If you haven't got enough, you're going to get some disdain. So basically I have to decide now, left, middle, all right. Center. I like that. Right, I've still got loads of stuff to spend. So for the stone, yeah, if I've got a load of stone to spend, maybe I want to move along the fort more so I can put it in the wall and stuff. So what have I got left? I've got some resources. I've got a couple of civilians and a couple of soldiers. So the soldiers could move me along that fort. But that's all they'd really be able to do. I can, of course, move along the wall guard a couple more times, get another cohort, get uh, up my chances of defending a little bit. My civilians, I probably want to progress on some of these tracks a little bit more. Do you know what? Oh, no. If I had another servant, it would have been... This would have worked out. I can get a servant there. 
and then I would have a civilian and a servant for the small precinct, but I have to be at level three in the traders first to do that. So I don't think that's happening this time. I can unlock the theater if I want to try and do that early. I would get myself a builder there and a servant. So that would be my two civilians gone, which I could then spend with a resource building the theater. And then I could spend another resource getting a trader. And then I'm ready next time to get another builder. Yes, I'm going to spend my last two civilians on, what was it? Oh yeah, performance, because I need to be at level one if I want to build a theater. That gets me a builder. And then priests as well. So I could build the small temple as well. And ignore a card, potentially. But I don't think I'll do that just yet. I'll get a servant and a builder. So I'll use them with one of my resources. And I'm going to build the theater. That's how it's shown there. So yeah, if you've got the, the cross there, that means the building is built now and I can use it. So I've still got a couple of resources. I'll spend one. Uh, to activate the theatre, and you write in these uh, numbered sections, you write in the year that you used it, basically for the restrictions. So I can only do this once per year, just to remind myself, can't do it again this year. So I get myself a trader, and no big thing yet, but hopefully it will lead to bigger things. And then, what have I got left? I've got soldiers that, at the moment at least, I can put them in the wall guard or the fort. I'm kind of thinking the wall guard because we could put builders in the fort later and soldiers are harder to come by. And we could get another cohort as well if I did a couple of soldiers on there. Yes, I'm going to do my resource in the sippy. And my two soldiers are going to go on the wall guard. So that gets me a discipline, which I cross off at the bottom here, my first point, my first concrete point anyway. And then next one is a cohort. Oh, thank you, yes. When I built the theater, I covered a renown symbol. So that gives me a point there as well. So I get another cohort. I'll go with uh, James this time on the left, because I'm only getting attacked once. So it's a uh, two thirds chance that I am going to be protected against the attack at the end of the year. So the end of the year, We've had all of our actions, we've put all of this out, so we need to draw this many cards from the Fate deck. And we can look at the top here, can't we? The Fate deck tells me the Picts are attacking from the left. I have a cohort on the left, which defends against that attack. I have successfully defended the attack. If I had failed, I would get a disdain now. But I succeeded, so I get a renown, a valor instead. Renown's what you get for building stuff. Valor is for being good in combat. There we go, a few points. I think that's all right. So that is, yep, we've got enough defenses. There's nothing else to know there. That is a round of it. So you see that obviously later on when you get more and more things, there's going to be more to like get going with. So it's a new round. A new year, I should say. So we need a fake card to tell me which workers we're going to get. Here we go, not a lot of soldiers, but a lot of builders. One servant, one civilian. And two resources. Then, I need two of my cards, don't I? So let's have a, a bit of a closer look at my options. So I could be an engineer. This would reward me with, point, with points for large buildings. So large buildings are any of the ones that say large in them. So we've got larges here. We've got the large temple, the large gardens. Is that all of them? There's got to be another one somewhere that I'm not seeing. Large granary as well, large granary up there. So if I'm going to build those, that would be good. Or completed citizen tracks. Am I going to do a lot of large buildings or a lot of citizen tracks? And to bear in mind the rewards as well, I would like, now I'm tempted by a servant and a builder. That combination could build the small precinct that I want so much. I'm going to go Engineer. I don't know that I'm going to build large buildings, but I want a Servant-Civilian combo. Okay, that's, that's ready, isn't it? Oh, and then Production. I need two resources thanks to my Production. And that should be that. Yes. 
So, we're not far off as well from being able to get an extra citizen each year. And when you build this, you get a citizen. So that could be something to do. That could be thinking about these things. Maybe I'll put them over here while I'm thinking about what to spend stuff on. I wanted the small precinct. Again, increased production of stuff. I would need a civilian on the traders to get to three. And then I would need to do the small precinct to get me another production, which hopefully would help me out later. That would not be a great deal of stuff right now, though, would it? I could get a couple of spaces on the fort. Oh, I need to do a couple of spaces on the fort to unlock space two of this. So they would have to go there. And then I could use my bricks. If we zoom in on here. Use my bricks on the wall. Start getting some resources. Get some more civilians from that. Use them on the citizen tracks, maybe. And then use those rewards for more things. I like the sound of that vague plan. So if we want, and I like the idea of having an extra uh, citizen every year as well. And of course, we could be using once per year, we can put a builder in the training grounds and that gets me a sword, basically move along the wall guard without using soldiers. A couple of soldiers would get me a discipline, would not get me another cohort though. At medium difficulty, well, everything but hard, you're going to get two of the picked cards this time. But I think I'm going to go for fort for these so I can get to building level two. That's going to be my builders there. And again, like you can see from all of this stuff over here, there's so much. You're like, there's going to be six rounds of it. There's going to be more stuff happening. But you can see there's, there's so much out here that you can be going for. I have not done gladiators yet. I have not done market really. And yeah, through a few games so far, it's just uh, tons and tons and tons to do in this. Uh, so we're going to do a hotel. The, the, the builder and the, the builder and the servant, the yeah, builder and the servant are going to open a small hotel together. And that gives me that building, that production, but also gives me a citizen right now. And then I was going to do a trader here, which gets me a builder. So we can think about what to do with him as well. And I wanted to build this precinct. I can do it now because I am at uh, trader level three on the trader citizen track. Costs me a citizen and a servant. And I get myself a piety, a production and a resource. Cross all of that off. And then, so piety is there. Can you see production here? Yes. Production and a resource. I've got myself a new citizen, a builder. I'm tempted to put in the training grounds. I've got that soldier. I've got all of these bricks. Now at the moment, if we zoom in again. So I'm thinking the resources I've got at the moment aren't really going to get me anywhere. The only place I can spend them is the wall in the sippy. Uh, and I've only got two spaces I'm eligible to build in here. So what am I going to do with those? I've got a builder that can go in here. Building three would let me do the workshop. Ooh. Ooh, what about this? If I get to level three of the fort, I'm then allowed to build a small workshop, which gets me a builder now and one every year. And I've got the resources and not really a great deal of places to put them. So I think go for that. So to do that, I'm gonna have to spend my soldier on here going to have to be builder and soldier they can both build the fort because it's a it's a little bit of a waste of a soldier but not too much and look at all the spaces i've unlocked on here for next year so that gets me a citizen and then the next step lets me build level three i've then got this lovely stack of four resources i'm going to spend three of them to build a small workshop, I'm allowed because now I'm at that level. Three resources, builds that small workshop and gets me a builder now. So I could move along the fort again and get another citizen. I've only got one resource, so I can't get to a space that's gonna reward me with anything. Now I can spend a citizen to get another resource or a builder. Doesn't that particularly get me anything? 
Getting another servant would be... Maybe I should build the medium granary as I get to this middle bit. Although maybe we don't need to do that just yet. I'm a couple of spaces off on the fort here, but I'm miles away in everything else. Getting some more resources would be nice to try and get to the next cohort space and maybe defend against things. But I would need three resources. I can get one there. Or I could just use the two citizens to get another servant, move along some production a bit more. I could get a soldier. I don't think I can build anything particularly useful. I could get a diplomat with another resource. I could build the small temple if I got myself another servant, which I can get one of these tracks. I haven't used the theatre. Oh, let's, let's keep using the theatre. So to use the theatre again, I'm going to have to use my two citizens on the performer track, which gets me a servant. Then I need to spend my last resource on the theatre. So that's in number two. And that gets me a discipline and a soldier. So that's my one performance here. Gotta keep the theatre in business. And then what have I got? Builder, servant, soldier. So I could get myself another citizen by going another one in the fort. I'm going to put my builder in the training grounds, so I can do that once per year, and there's only four opportunities to do it. And that's going to move me along the wall guard a bit, and then I'll use my soldier on the wall guard as well. That gets me a discipline, which, oh, I hadn't even realised this. I'm in the third space, which gives me another builder. So I can't do that again, but I could put it on the fort now. And then maybe the servant going towards this next spot here. See, I'm not at level four, so we can't think about that. I don't want to trade them in and just get one thing. I haven't built anything else usable yet, so I think that's just what they're going to do. So being on the fort there gets me another civilian. Does that change what I want to do? I don't think any of them can get me resources, so I don't think so. I can get our resource, which isn't really going to help. I think let's let's go on the patricians track here and get a resource and then I'm going to spend it immediately on the sippy here so that use my citizen because then I'm one space away next time from getting another cohort and up there I am as well and then my servant's just going to go at the top here there we go that's it, decided. That's the end of the year. Um, let's press the top. We need two picked cards. And let's see where they're attacking. I have not bolstered my defences whatsoever this year. They are attacking... <gasps> to the left and the centre. Which is fine by me. That's completely defended. Is going to get me two Valor. So I can uh, cross those off. And that means for next round, I've got myself a bonus soldier. If you get the rewards from... This is the only way that you would, like, go into the next round with things because you've crossed them off kind of out of turn here. That is very lucky. I've not been discarding these cards as well. I'm supposed to have two new ones each year. I haven't done anything with them yet. So I haven't done any scouting or trading. So it hasn't mattered. Okay, so by some miracle, they decided to attack exactly where there happened to be cohorts. So we can move on to year three. What am I getting? Two more soldiers. Two more builders. Two servants. A citizen. And a resource. And then... There's something that comes in between these two things, isn't there? Oh yes, my cards come in between the production bit. So, the cards that I have. Trainer and Ranger. So trainer, total gladiator strength. It would be nice to show the gladiators off. Is it a bit too late to do that? I think maybe I'm focusing on my theatre. Completed scout columns. Let's do some scouting. Let's save gladiators for another time. I'm going to try and complete some scout columns, which means I get a servant and a resource extra. And then for my production... We have three more resources and, oh wow, this tray's getting full up, and a citizen and a builder. Loads of stuff. That's pretty good to go into the round with. We've got a full tray of business. What are we going to do it on? Did I have a plan? 
get to six on the traders, do the next precinct, get some more production, the rest of the things. Do some more theatre, maybe. It would take two more citizen points to get to the next theatre step. Get me another servant. If I, you don't have to do them all, but yeah, we could do all of the performances there. The higher up ones let give, reward you with more uh, citizens. I could do the temple, get let off some of these things, because I probably won't get that lucky. I've got four cards to draw this time, so I'm probably not going to be that lucky if I don't. But I'm just about to get two cohort bonuses. Let's... While I'm thinking about these things, let's spend a soldier on a cohort. Do I want to double up on cohorts or cover all my base? Now, right hasn't come out at all, has it? So I think I'm going to get one on the right. Yeah, the gladiator game is gambling a bit because you are, you going up to that, you go up to like the next level and then you decide, you know, am I going to train right now? And if the number's higher, they're just dead. But if it's lower, you're going to get rewards. I don't think we're going to go for gladiators this game. Maybe we'll have to do another stream uh, where we go for gladiators. So yes, I'm doing a cohort there. And then to spend a resource here on the sippy, I need to do this space in the fort first. Which is going to... Let's spend a builder on that rather than a soldier. So that's going to give me a discipline. And then a resource moves me along here. So I can get another cohort. You know what? I'm, I'm feeling like right. So I, if I want to keep going in either of these things, I'm going to have to build the granary. Maybe I should do that before I spend too much stuff. The medium granary. Yeah, let's do it. So that's going to be a servant and a builder and a resource. So now I'm allowed to build things in this middle column. Hi, Joel. No Marty Cam. Uh, this stream, I'm afraid, but he will return. His, his spirit lives on in uh, Posh Marty. He's only on the bed. So, do I want to get to level four? I could afford this small road and get some of these things everywhere. Get some of these points every year. I'm just tempted to just get a load of income. I've, I've got just enough servants to do it. And I could probably get some more servants from somewhere else. Oh, do you know what? I can. I'm going to go for right now while I'm thinking about it. Servant, servant builder resource I'm going to build the small road and I can take a piety or a discipline I think it makes sense I've got so much discipline they're all worth a point each but if you can go quite heavily into one of them you'll start getting loads of rewards I'm going to go for discipline if I can get one more discipline I can get myself another builder so my way of getting more servants from there was what if we spent the citizen track to get a couple more performers. That gets me a soldier. Then I can do another performance at the theatre for a resource. Year three, so the theatre's still going. That gets me a piety and a servant. Servant uh, piety is on the tracks, isn't it? Oh, that doesn't give me, I wanted to go up to traders, didn't I, and do that precinct. So I've got a load of soldiers a servant and a brick. The brick would have to go in the wall, which we are totally not building. Oh yeah, level four fort. Which I was going to get to by using those. I never had any builders, so I would have to use those two soldiers on the fort. So I was at level four, so I could build the small road. But that does give me another citizen there. So I haven't done any in the Preparatories here. Oh, should we do some scouting? Now, I would like to get another builder here, but if we get one more patrician, we can start to do some scouting. I think let's let's uh, show off some scouting. So a citizen there can move me up the patrician's track, and then as soon as you're at two on the patrician track, you can do your first scout. I am going to spend my cost you a soldiers to do, and you cross off the scouting horse. So the two. Neutral cards, I definitely revealed, uh, with these. So I can use these. Or I can use the shape from the card that I didn't pick. 
So what would I like to build here? I could just build a nice neat square because I want to do rows get you renown, but columns get me points as well. So just filling this in would be good however I do it. It's four spots no matter what. A nice square here could get me a servant and a resource. Seems pretty good, doesn't it? I'm going to go for a square, I think. So in the multiple, so using your own would be preferable because if you use someone else's, you give them the soldier. So they can use it for some more, but maybe they'll use your shape and give it back to you. Unlikely though, isn't it? So I'm going to build that little square. So you just cross off that shape. You can mirror it. You can rotate it. Can't go off the edge though. So I'm going to get myself a resource and a servant. So now I've got two resources, two servants. I'd get a bit more production if I put those servants into mining and foresting. I could get another citizen if I spend those resources on walling, which seems like a decent thing to do. I'm going to, so two resources there on the wall. Get me a citizen. I don't know what's going to happen with him yet. So the citizen could go in there and get me a, what are they called? A builder. Would a builder help me do anything particular? I could get another citizen and then build somewhere else. Oh, you know what? I could, if we just go for combos here, so I can do my first apparatoris, apparatoris, uh, and get myself a builder. I could spend that builder. So I haven't got any resources to kind of use them on the buildings. I could use that builder Oh, I could, I could go in the training grounds, get myself along here a bit more. But I could just build on the fort. Unlock more of these spaces and get another citizen right now. And then what should we use those on? So I could get myself a soldier. I'm going to use the two servants on mining and foresting. Oh, that gave, then gives me a resource that I could... Oh, wow. Okay. Some more production. I can use the resource to either get myself another citizen or why don't we spend it on the wall up here because that gets me a renown and a cohort, most importantly. So renown there. Up at the cohorts, it's a little bit eggs in one basket, but if I put them in the right cohort space, that gives me a discipline, which would give me a builder. I think I'm going to go for that. Discipline gives me a builder. I just crossed off that sixth space. So a lot of discipline in my Hadrian's Wall. And now what? We've got a citizen. We've got a builder. It's all kicking off. So I can get to level five with the builder. Hmm. Not that exciting yet. Level five is what you need for the large granary. The citizen could unlock me a soldier, or just work to the next stage of one of these things. Going up this track, of course, gets me more discipline. But I think for now, let's get a soldier. And we're closer to getting the next, we need to be level four for the next scout. So that's given me a soldier. That spent my citizen to do. They could just go on the wall guard. The builder go in the training grounds and the soldier in there himself. And then we're ready next time to get another cohort. I didn't get I didn't get complete the cohorts, did I? I took the other things, large buildings. I don't think I, there's nothing that's going to particularly help me with resource production. I can't do another scout until I'm at level four. If I use them both, I would get a citizen. Maybe that is okay. I'll just keep moving along here and get all the discipline. But if they go up here, I can get a discipline now. So a soldier can go in the wall guard, and the reward from the training gown lets me in the wall guard. That lets me cross off a discipline. And that, I think, is another decent year. We've uh, really bumped up the production, the, the protection from the right cohort. Let's see. We are going to reveal four cards on medium difficulty. One, two, three, four, and you are probably going to see some disdain. We've got right, right, left, left, so that's not too bad, actually. So I have let through one of the left attacks. So I've got three cohorts, easily defend against those. Just got the one left cohort. So one gets through. I get 
a disdain for the one I let through. Uh, your disdain is tracked down here. You circle it to show you've got a disdain, but if you do a bribe later, you can fill it in and then it's not a disdain anymore. So I've got a disdain, but then you subtract the number of disdain you got from the number of the, the number in this gray space for the year that you're in, and you still get that much renown if you blocked everything else. That's the maximum renown you can get. So I get, uh, not renown, I keep saying renown all the time, valor for combat, isn't it? So I do get one valor still. Didn't quite defend it all, but I was greedy for the, uh, the discipline, wasn't I? By putting another point in right. Right. Well, it's a new year then, isn't it? I haven't got any workers to go into that year with, but from the card, we've got soldier, builder, builder, servant, servant, citizen, double resource, and two of my cards. Oh, you can't even see that card I'm talking about, can you? There you go. Uh, then I can choose between Defender and Aristocrat. So the Aristocrat will reward me with three points if I can end the game with no disdain. The Defender will give me points for completed wall sections. At the moment, we're not looking too great on the wall, to be honest. Is that shape better? Oh, that shape is better for scouting as well. I am going to get two shapes from over here, aren't I? I like the idea of getting more of these workers. I think we've got plenty of resources coming in. I'm going to go for completed wall sections. We're probably only going to get one, though. So I get from that the builder and citizen. And then my own production, four resources. Two, three, four resources. A citizen, a builder, and a symbol of my choice. I'm going to go for discipline, of course, although... Renown and Piety are about to reward me with something, but surely I can get one Discipline from somewhere and make all of that worth it. No, I want the Renown. I want another Citizen. So I get to choose from this. I need one more Performer to do another performance, and that'll give me an Apparatorus and a Discipline. That's where the second Discipline could have come from. I want a couple of Builders, at least, on the fort. We're at building level 5, we've got another citizen. I do want a citizen on the performers and a resource at the theatre to unlock these. So it's year 4 and then that's an Apparatorus, which doesn't give me any reward right now, but also another discipline that pops me along this track. Then... I wanted the traders, didn't I? I wanted to go up the traders to six so I can do this precinct. More and more production. That is going to cost me, though. Two citizens... I can't afford right now. Two citizens and a... servant right there. But then I've only got two citizens to move up the trader track, which isn't enough, is it? I'm going to need a third citizen from somewhere. But where do we get citizens from? They're waiting for us here. Now, we do want to do wall sections, don't we? But I'm just thinking... There's a... There's a cohort right next to this, as long as I do this space down here. Ooh, and this can unlock the, the large hotel. <clears throat> can we do that? Servant Builder two resources. That'd get me the citizen I want. Yes, Builder is going on here to unlock building level six. Then we can spend Builder, Servant, two resources on the large hotel, which gets me a Renown. So I didn't need that Renown after all. Should have gotten a Discipline instead. But also a Citizen. So then we're going to do three citizens, which gets me one resource to get to this point. And that's going to give me level six, which lets me build the medium precinct. I've got my workers here waiting. It's going to get me a discipline, a production, and a resource. 
uh, resource, and then a production. So what is that? Production number five. And a discipline, which gets me a builder. I've got a lot of resources. I've got a soldier. I've got a builder. We can't do any scouting, actually. I didn't use my citizens, but I can easily get a citizen, can't I? I'm kind of thinking right now, let's uh, have a look at the top over here. I can spend resources. I've got so many resources. Oh, unfortunately, we can't get to seven until we've got the granary, because I'm just thinking I've got loads of resources for the large workshop here. I think we're going to have to wait until next year for that. Unless I can think of a way around it. I would need two spots along this and a servant to come from somewhere, and I don't think I can do that. Yeah, we've got loads of resources. I think those resources are best spent. We'll get the buildings next year, maybe. Those resources right now are best are going to be best spent. Look at all the servants I can unlock. I can get, you know, I can I can get a builder or a servant with a citizen. What if I just spend one right now over... I want to do completed wall sections, don't I? So that gets me a servant. And then... Yeah, I can't do the granary. No, there's no point even trying for it. No, let's just concentrate on what we've got for now. Ooh, I could do a scouting. Yes, let's, uh, let's use the citizen to get... Patrician level 4, which is going to get me another renown. Another reason I shouldn't have taken it as the income. But now I can use my soldier to scout. And I... Oh, I have the two shapes from the neutral player. But I think I'm quite happy with this. I'm going to do it upside down here. Like this. Because that's another resource and a builder. And I've done a row, which gives me a valor. Not too far off doing columns and getting points for my uh, path card. So, a valor. I am one off getting a soldier. I think... I'm going to I'm going to use my builder as a builder in the fort because that is going to give me a discipline and a cohort. What have we got six cards this round? So I think what do you reckon center or left? I don't th I think right's protected enough. It's unlikely there's going to be more than three in there. I'll let you decide what I'm having to think about these things. I've got another servant. Probably going to just go into mining stroke foresting. But I am like, before I make that decision, let's spend a brick there to get a servant. Maybe I'll want it some, to do something else. Yeah, we've got to, we've got to, I think, get these resources on the wall and sippy. Because I can now unlock... Like, the apparitor is here. Center. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, the apparitor is over here. Can get me a soldier. And one more space along it will start getting me discipline. I really want to rock it up this track. Uh, so I can't do another scout. Oh, I should cross out that scout. I can't do another scout yet. But I could probably get another citizen and be able to scout. I could get a cohort there. Oh, but if I put the soldier up top here... Uh-oh. Put the soldier up top, that's a cohort. I'm going to go for center again and get another discipline. I zoomed out, yes. Then... I can just do one more resource, and that's another cohort. I would like another Valor if I can get one. That would give me another soldier. I'm going to cross off there. Two resources here in the wall gives me a completed section for my defender and also another cohort. I'm going in center again, which feels like I shouldn't, but that gives me a valor, which gives me a soldier. How many resources have I got? Just the one. The diplomat, where you can start avoiding your disdain, costs the builder, no, the soldier and the servant and two resources. So a bit short for that. Maybe next time. I can't do anything here because I haven't got that granary yet. 
The only way, the only place to use a resource is here, and I get a renown. <gasps> but then that's a citizen. So does that then change things? Because I could unlock. What could I unlock over here? Another discipline, a resource, which could get me another citizen. <gasps> yeah, patrician. Ooh, 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 patricians. See the combos. Gets me a resource which I can spend on the wall, which gets me the citizen back. And then can I use the same shape for scouting again? I think you're allowed to just use the same shape over and over again. Because I could complete a column. Obviously I want to do rows to try and get the most points. I could spend my soldier on the scouting again. I have got this shape that I could use from my fake neighbour. But I think I'm just going to use my shape again. Let's do it sideways. Get another resource. That's a column done for my ranger points. And I get a resource. I don't think that's going to get me anything now. But I've got another citizen. Which could get me, say, another servant. Could get me another builder. The builder wouldn't be any good, would it? Although the builder could be a soldier and go up on the wall guard. I think we're going to use the citizen for performers to try and make sure I can do some performing next time. I'm going to use both of the servants, I think, on the mining. So no reward just yet, but we're one off another production. And then the stone is just going to have to go on the wall. Again, no reward yet, but we're geared up for next time. Okay. Picked attack, yes. Six cards. Three, four, five, six. Moment of truth, please attack in the middle. Don't attack on the left. Center. Right, left, right, left, right. Nice. Sin is the Dexter. We have, so fully defended on the right, three for three. They didn't attack in the center five times like I was hoping, but I've defended against that. I've defended against one of the lefts, so I get one disdain. But not defending that, but the total in the gray there is three. So three minus one disdain is two valor. Not too shabby. Three would have been nice for the extra soldier, but we can hopefully get that in the round. So you're all cards that are done with. New Year. Whoop. Don't get pen on the cloth. New fake card. So I'm getting two soldiers, two builders, servant, citizen, two resources. My card choices are merchants, so collected goods. That's if I've done uh, stuff at the market. Probably not worth it. Uh, the Architect constructed landmarks, so landmarks are what you're allowed to construct when you've got to 15 or more in one of these rows. That's more likely, isn't it? I don't know if, I still don't know if it's going to happen, but I'd rather have a citizen and a resource than two resources as well. So I'm going to go for constructed landmarks there, and we'll get some collected goods there, which means we get a citizen and a resource. And then production, I get five resources. Two, three, four, five. Two citizens, a builder, and a symbol of my choice. It's tempting to get another servant. But I think let's really try and go for discipline. Start unlocking that landmark. It's at least going to be one extra point, isn't it? Yeah, maybe time to take some baths. Might have to get that built. Although, two disdain is only three negative points. So it's not too bad early on. It's when you start getting loads that it starts being terrible. So that's it, isn't it? That's all of my income. These are the neutral shapes and tradings we can do. I think if I want to do another... If I want to do the large workshop, I've definitely got the resources. I need to do the large granary first, then put someone here then do the large workshop. Is it going to help me out though? Is it worth doing that? 
scouting, we need another two citizens here. We'd have to cross our fingers. I can do a square there, which would leave just that L shape for next time and just hope between my card and the neutral cards that we have that L shape still. And then I could do the entire thing. But if I don't do it, I haven't done any more rows. I would have done a couple more columns. Yeah, let's do some more scouting. That's two citizens to do that. Get me a renown and a soldier. Renown, soldier. I'm now going to scout, because I've reached level seven where I'm allowed to, and I'm going to gamble on doing that square. So it gets me another resource, as if I needed any more. And look at that perfect shape, just waiting to be completed. That's like three more valor as well, isn't it? And well, I've done three columns. That's two points right now. Three points if I've done them all. Okay. Should I keep pushing for this extra income? Large, work, large buildings do get me some points. But what have I done? Like, that would be two more, wouldn't it? But I'm probably not going to do... Maybe it's worth doing the gardens, but I haven't done any priests. Probably too late. You need four priests to do the small gardens. But you do get a lot of stuff. If I want to do another performance, I'm going to need another citizen in the theatre. And that would get me a priest and a piety, which would give me a servant. Do you know what? I'm not going to break my unbroken streak of the theatre being open. We're going to unlock this, gets me another renown, gets me nothing just yet. But then we are going to spend a resource to put on a play, gets me a piety and a priest. You can see the priest there. Piety is going to get me a servant. So loads and loads of resources to spend. Now for one of those resources, we've got to go. Uh, wall gets you a renown and a cohort. Yes, that's exactly what I'm about to say. Uh, right here, the next space on the wall has got to be spent because for one resource, cohort and a renown and the renown gets me another citizen and i've got plenty to do another couple if i want to uh, so the cohort i could get myself another discipline if i go all in on the center you know what i'm going i'm going to uh because uh, yeah that's that's another builder that i can surely put to good use We've got enough resources to build the large granary and large workshop. I've also, I could build the baths. I could build the courthouse if I put another worker in there. Or I could just complete another wall section, couldn't I? And get another cohort and another citizen. Do you know what I'm going to do? Down here at the diplomats, I'm going to spend a servant and a soldier and two resources. I don't think I'm going to build those things. And I'm going to get a Valor, which gets me a soldier back. And then also, you decide which direction. I think the unprotected left is going to be what I choose here. So I've got basically, oh, you're not seeing it, sorry. Uh, yes, I get, a, I get a Valor and then I'm choosing the left cohort. And I've got two opportunities, basically, to ignore picked cards that come out only in the left direction. But I can, instead of taking the disdain, just pretend that I defended against them. I think I need to do the granary, even if I'm not going to do the workshop, which I've kind of spent those resources. We want to keep being able to expand into here, don't we? So I'm going to do the granary. Build a servant. Oh, I can't get it. And two resources and that's going to give me a renown and then I can spend my builders progressing along here now two more resources get me a citizen there but I have got a couple of citizens yeah I think it's worth it I've got loads of I need more servants really I could get them by going up the priest's track a bit. Yeah, the small gardens are quite nice. But I would need both of those citizens in the priests 
to get to level four to be able to build these small gardens. You get a piety and a trader, a performer, and a priest. I think that wouldn't be too bad, you know? I'm going for it. So two citizens in the priest track gets me a piety and a servant. I needed a servant for something. Uh, and the piety... It's just a piety. Oh yeah, I needed a servant for this. I did want one for mining and foresting as well. Maybe we'll get one. Uh, but now we can do the small gardens here. And I get a piety. Still gets me nothing. But then a trader gets me a builder. A performer gets me a builder. And we've done a track. Oh, I didn't take that card. And a priest gets me a servant. I don't know if we'll get to the large gardens, but that's one of everything. And I don't need a performer anymore. So I don't know if we'll do that. But look at all this stuff still to spend. So probably want to extend the fort a little bit. I've only got two resources. Three would be another cohort. I do have, though. Let's see Builder right there. Year five. is going to get me a sword. And then two soldiers get me a discipline. And then a cohort. And I will... Do I want to put one in the left? I've only got two chances to ignore, I suppose. Yeah, I'm going to go for the left. I'm going to put my servant in mining. Because then that's going to get me a resource and a production so that gets me the six production which is the next stage on my card there and then what have i got left three resources one two three that's another cohort and another completed wall section and a citizen but if we're going to use the builders along here i could just go in the sippy again no we'll we'll do that for later. So I'm going to do two builders there. Get me a citizen. Where do I want the citizen? So I could get piety would get me a servant. Renown wouldn't get me anything. Just be nice, wouldn't it? Discipline. Get me closer to 15. I'm tempted just to get some more discipline. Oh, and I can get another citizen there, can't I? So if there's something that's two citizens away, I'm tempted just to go for some more discipline. Citizens getting spent there. And I could if I wanted to do the courthouse next time. We're going to spend three resources up on the wall. One, two gets me a citizen. Three gets me a cohort. I'm going to go on the left and get myself a discipline, which gets me another builder. And then I'll probably use those builders, yeah, to move along here a bit more, maybe. I don't think I can get any production right now. Yeah, citizen on here will get me another builder. I'm going to spend two builders to go along here. I've got building space eight. And another citizen. I've got no resources or anything, have I? I'm going to grab another discipline. Space 16 now, so I can. We come down here. I'm at space 15 in discipline, which means I can build the statue next time. A builder, two resources. It counts for, you know, me constructed landmarks card, but also gets me two renown, which is two more points. I haven't had to use the forum. Always, uh, always sad when you have to use the forum and you get something that you need, but you have to give up two workers to get one. Which never nice, is it? So I think I've spent that citizen. And then my builder is just going to have to go in the fort. I've already done the training grounds. Just going to have to go in that space in the fort. I think a really good round there. We have defended against a lot, I think. There are eight cards coming out. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see where they're, where they're attacking. Center. Center. Left. Oh, I shouldn't cover up my uh, cohort, should I? Right. Center. Center. <gasps> Is this the big center attack I've been dreading? 
completely defended. I have you know, put loads of resources into these cohorts, but that's completely defended. The grey number is three. That means three Valor. One, two, three is a soldier to go into the next round with. Pretty happy with that. So, the sixth and final year. I get soldier. Two builders. Two servants. Two citizens. And a resource. Choosing the cards. I haven't got an L myself. So I'm going to have to really hope that this is one. Because I can't do any other shapes. So filled temples. Haven't done temples at all. Completed wall guard sections. I've already done two. So I think doesn't that makes my mind up right. We're going to be getting two servants. And then in production, I get six resources. Two, three, four, five, six resources. And then two citizens, a builder, should have got the bigger tray, and a symbol, which is absolutely going to be discipline, which gets me a valor. So we're nearly at 15 valor. Although I need the valor before the picks attack, because you can't build the landmark after. So, that's it, isn't it? Let's have a look at the neutrals. Is there an L? Oh, there isn't. Okay. Well, we're not going to get to do the scouting, though. Should have done it earlier on. Because everyone's got the same you know, configuration of stuff in there. Just come out in different orders. Okay, then. So, we definitely want to do a landmark, don't we? Let's not forget that. So, a builder and two bricks gets me... Oh, not that one. The statue... Which, I want to construct landmarks for that card, but also that gives me two Renown, which gives me a Citizen. I don't want to forget my performers as well. We've got a good streak with this. I'm not going to let it break, because that gives me another Renown. No reward for that yet. But also, a Patrician. And the Patrician gives me another Renown. <laughs> just flipping over the camera angles. Uh, so yeah, I'm nearly at 15 in Renown. Okay. I could get Renown with just a trader. And I do want 9 on the traders. Yeah, let's go for a trader. Spend a citizen for that. Get a Renown there, which gets me a citizen back. And then I'm at 15. Let's spend a builder and two resources on there, and that gets me two Valor, which gets me a Soldier, and then I'm at 15 there as well. So I could do, it'll be my last Builder, but maybe I can get them elsewhere. I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, three Landmarks is three extra points at the end. That is all of my resources though as well, but I think it's good, because then that's gonna give me two more Piety. So yeah, I'm gonna do my Valor build in here, Builder and two resources. Gets me two piety. And another servant. And that is three landmarks all just chaining off each other. So we've got loads of citizens. Loads of... Servants. And soldiers, really. I'm going to use a citizen to get to nine in the traders. Which gives me a resource. Which is, surprisingly, I really need them. Uh, and then... Why not? I'm going to do the precinct. So the large precinct, which is a large building for my card. Uh, so I need, it is expensive, three citizens and the... Mind you, this production, is it going to help me? I don't think this is worth doing, you know? Because that's quite expensive people-wise. And the production doesn't give me an extra point anymore. It would get me a resource, but I don't think that's worth doing. I still want to do the trader. I have kind of made it permanent. When you're playing with pencil as well, you can just rub out uh, if you've changed your mind. But we could get something else at the Patricians come. We could do another Diplomat. We would get a Valor. So we, we don't want to do the Courthouse. I could open the Baths. 
I can surely get a builder from somewhere. I would need more resources though. I could get a resource from there. I don't think I want to build any more of these things. You could get more production here as well if I wanted that. A couple more on the wall, wall god is another discipline. Because this is just like straight up points now. So I can spend, yeah, another... I can spend another citizen in the patricians. Get a resource. Spend a soldier on the port. That gets me the fort rather than the port. That gets me another citizen. But I could use now my two resources and get another cohort. Do I want another cohort? Oh, and one more gets me a discipline and a cohort, so I might as well do that. Am I going to finish the Aperitores and get a blue? Yeah, I might finish them, actually. Use my three citizens down here. Soldier, Discipline, Builder. And then Discipline takes me up to 18. And then where are we? I can use my Builder for this last space here, which gets me a Discipline, which gets me a Builder back. I better have somewhere to put them. And it gives me a cohort. I think... Left. Going left. One more, I could get a Valor. And I've got the resources to get another one. And Valor is points. I could build the baths. I wouldn't have a resource to activate the baths, though, and I don't think there's a way of me getting any more resources now. I could get another Citizen by putting them there instead of in the cohort. I've got three soldiers still to get a cohort there. And yeah, completed wall guard sections. I'm unfortunately not going to be able to finish the whole thing off. I'm going to get close, which is frustrating. Nowhere to get any more soldiers from now, though. Production isn't going to be that helpful. I'm not going to have enough resources to build the temples. I can only spend a citizen there. <laughs> unless I do something else. Unless I build the gladiators this late on. It's a bit late, though, isn't it? I can get more citizens. I think the citizens got to be spent to get the piety there. I want somewhere for the builder to go. That could be constructing a building. But what at this stage? The builder can be a wall guard, can't he? I just don't want to get any more. A couple of these... Could get me another servant, but could just get me the cohort. Yeah, I'm going to do cohort. I want to complete this one. But I'm vulnerable from the right then, aren't I? Because I can ignore cards from the left. I should have put my points into the right, actually, thinking about it now. And got all the rewards. I can still get another one. I've got three soldiers, actually. One, two, three. That's another discipline. And I can get an I can get a valor by going to the right. Cross that off there. I think I've got too many servants though. I should have found a use for them. I could have done courthouse and stuff, but I think it was a bit late by now. They might just all have to pour into the mining. Which I can't quite finish, but it's not going to get me any points, any of this stuff now. I think that is it for points. Because the, the builder can train. And go up here, but that doesn't get me anything. And then the five... So I can swap them for something else, though, if there's something else that I want. Which I might... I can only do it once, though, can't I? And swapping them for a citizen... I would just get like another point on the priests. Which doesn't really help, does it? I'm pretty sure I can't swap or swap four soldiers at all, can I? In the, in the forum. Now the exchange may not involve soldiers in any way. So yeah, I don't think there's anything for them to do anymore. I might as well 
just in case there's something I've forgotten. I'm going to trade two for a, a citizen, use that citizen straight away, get one back. And then I've got four, two, three, four. Oh, that gets me a resource, doesn't it? As well as a production. And so that resource can be spent on the wall for a renown. It doesn't get me anything, but it's a point. So, the final attack is 10 cards. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And what have we got? Left, middle, left, middle, middle, right, middle, middle, right, left. I think, was that 5? Yep. All defended. That's 4 Valor. And this is why being quite close to the end of the track can be quite good, because obviously the soldier's not going to get me anything. But one is a discipline, which is a piety. Two, three, four. One more. And I could have gotten uh, a renown, which would have been another piety. But I think this is pre a pretty nice result. So that's it. That's the end. We can start to look at where are we on these tracks. So these are all points. 16 for Renown, that's meant to be a 16. 9 for Piety, 20 for Valor, 21 for Discipline. Then my Path cards, let's have a look. Resource Production, I've got 7. So it's 1 point for 3, 2 points for 6, 3 points for 9. That's just going to be 2 points. Large Buildings, what have I done? I've done the Granary, the Hotel. I think that's it. So two large buildings is a point, so that's three. Completed scout columns, I did three, which is two points, so up to five. Completed wall sections, I did two, which is two points, so that's seven. Constructed landmarks, I did three, which is three points, so ten. And then completed wall guard sections, so close, I did two, which is two more points, which is 12 altogether, right? I think so. Two, three, five, seven, ten, twelve. Yes. So 12 on the path cards. Disdain. I got two disdain, which is pretty decent. That's minus three points. Didn't bother bribing the people in the baths. So the final score then, what's this going to be? Uh, 25, 45, 66, 78, 75. Which, if uh, I consult my little rule book, tells me... Oh, actually, that's really good. I don't think I've gotten this rank on easy yet. But there we go. Legatus Legionis. That's a pretty good solo rank. That's what it, it in solo, it, it's, it's beat your own score, but I feel like there is so many millions of ways that you can go that, yeah, beating your score is all that it needs in that. So that is Hadrian's Wall, a surprisingly, uh, <laughs> surprisingly good, a surprisingly defensive game of Hadrian's Wall on medium difficulty. Uh, so the only thing the difficulty changes is how many cards you draw for each of those attacks. Fewer on easy, more on hard. Yeah, I think that went surprisingly well. Thanks for your help, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much for watching, though. I'll see you very, very, very soon, I hope. Bye, everyone.